Hello! We've got James quiet there. He's coming on in a moment, 9 o'clock, or shortly afterwards, James Michael Reavy, talking about the great visit to our part of the world by the minister uh, himself. What was that minister's name, Cormac, with the Philip who came? I don't know, James will have to tell you that. Yeah, I know. It was, uh, what was it, what was his name? The fellow who disappeared in Belfast. We didn't see him for a long time. What was that fellow's name? Reverend Ron. No, uh, yeah, yeah, to do Ron Ron or whatever. Listen, not for the nonsense. I'm just simply telling you that James uh, is possessed of many secrets which he holds in his rattle bag of experience. He'll be bringing it to us about half, five past nine. Alicia, welcome again. Thank Lisa, you very much. Alicia Troughton, the artist from Canada, with us uh, for tonight's event in the Dominican, 8 o'clock, the, uh, the Teze Remembrance Service uh, against the back cloth of your wonderful linen memorial. But we'll talk about that later. You can read about it in the Newry Reporter today, along with other things in the Newry Reporter. <laughs> I, I'm going to go sleep now. Please interview him. Well, uh, just before we start, Rowan, I was going to say... I look like a man. You look like a man who spent the past week teasing children about <laughs> having to go back to school. I've launched it, on this program today. Not in their uniform. We've launched, I've launched an initiative on this program you heard that, today. Didn't you? No. Children oh. are starving in this town because uniforms are costing £200 a throw, three in a family... 600 quid, the parents having the money, so I've Started launched today... A new protest. I've launched today the boycotting of uniforms. We will ban uniforms. No child right across the town and district should wear a uniform to school. You should say, parents should say no en masse. We're going to school in ordinary clean trousers, in ordinary clean shirts, no uniforms. You will not make money out of our poverty. I've stopped now. Please how, interview them. How, how much is a, a shirt like if you'd have to just buy a clean shirt? Are you no, uh, advocating t-shirts? No, they, there's a thing. I know you Canadians don't yeah, understand we love it. Our we love You're a throwaway society. We, we wash our shirts. And iron. And, uh, and iron. iron. Look, you can know that I do this Well, thing. And, and yourself. But you yeah. don't have a tie on. Not today. So no. you, you, what, do, what do you think of this protest? Uh, aside from it having absolutely zero chance of working. Uh, do you want a bet? Yeah, I do. They'd, I'd, better bet. I'd happily put they, 50 they, quid on that. They can, they can bet this Canadian lollipop. <laughs> yeah. That's Are my contribution to the betting. I'm, I'm here to mediate these two men. No, I'd be a firm believer First in, time in your life uh, you did. setting obtainable goals. Uh, uh, yeah. Yeah. And from that point If we set obtainable <laughs> goals, we would have said to Kennedy when he said, we'll put a man on the moon by, we said, no, we won't. Well, Are you going to believe Mars? he put a man on uh, the moon. Oh, no, we're not going to do that. <laughs> Listen, will you please interview him? I Con want to conspiracy theories. For a little while. Well, um, Wait I, me being, when you're being an artist, I, I'm going right mm. to the uh, cultural activities in town. Oh. Besides the triathlon, which I suppose will stop traffic, and it's hard enough for me uh, to find my way around in these one race streets. What's it going to do to the traffic? On it the won't. It, it's, it's early in the morning. On a, it's on Sunday, I believe, isn't it? So it but they won't finish early in the morning. Oh, no, it's it? a sprint distance triathlon. It's oh, it's not a sprint. A, it's not a. Uh, ah. It's not a half marathon or, or do they get or in boats at some point in a triathlon yeah you know triathlons don't they go from bicycles to skis to no, windsurfing to swim swim cycle sprint cycling? Cycle run. oh running yeah well that's, so where do they swim in the canal yeah yeah my goodness okay enough of sport what about <laughs> uh what about this uh I ran into a man the other day, he said he's an actor, and he said he's putting on, he must be a director as well. Oh, what a lovely war. Yeah, you know New Point Youth, uh, and every year New Point Youth have the summer scheme. That's a local drama group, and uh, I suppose Are it's Are they all coming. young people? Yeah, they'd all be uh, school age, maybe a few at university age. But uh, at the end of the summer, they, they put on the production. About and the Great War, or Second World War? Or? It's World War One, I, I think. It's, mm. it's, it's based on... So well, it's, uh, wonderful, wonderful. Yes. In the town hall for a few nights now. And I understand if you're completely unemployed, but you are a type of artistic person, you can get level two craft skills somewhere here. At the Clannery Group, E-Group. Oh, the Clannery Group, yeah. I think they're based out at Sleeve Gully. In the, uh, Why is that the, funny, Rowan? I, I sort of sensed a chuckle on <laughs> the side of my chuckle. brain here. <laughs> I, you all, I have to get you back for the Alberta no, comment I'm using, earlier. I'm using that. I've never seen. I've never seen Campbell as happy on that couch as he is today. <laughs> Why is that? He's, he's doing. He's. I don't have to uh, do any work. <laughs> and now, uh, local local hotel history uncovering two paintings of the long demolished buildings on Russ Trevor's Shore Road. Yeah, there's 
If, if you know Ruth Trevor, there was, to culture. There was yeah. formerly a, a quite large hotel called the Moor, our Great Northern mm -hmm. Hotel. It was part of the rail network. And even though there was no railway station in Ruth Trevor, there was a, a tram line that uh, was the, the terminus of the JNR line. Were there a um, lot of tram lines around here? Uh, there was two. There was uh, from Warren Point Ruth Trevor and there was from Newry to Bestbrook. Bestbrook one was a, a motorised tram line. And the, the, the L word, tell her about the L word. Lennon. Bestbrook? Lennon. Uh, yeah, Lennon, uh, which would uh, be of interest to you. Um, and then the Restrever one was Horse Drawn. So um, the Restrever one went out to the Great Northern Hotel, but also beside that, we uncovered initially paintings of some older buildings that nobody seemed to have any real memory of. And initially they were only in paintings, but gradually we found photographs of these old buildings. And one of the buildings in particular was called the Woodside Hotel. Um, so we've got a little bit of information about the history. You of really it. must delve into each story, even if it's a small story. It's quite interesting. Um, I wouldn't say delve. It's not that difficult <laughs> once you know what you're looking for. Well, well, you get to know town. You've been doing this how long? Too long. Okay, next. He, he mentioned the Woodside Hotel. Mm -hmm. Was that the, the original name to the GNR Hotel in Rostewa? No, the, the yeah. Great Northern was also there. Yeah. This was beside The Woods it. beside it. Yeah, the yeah, second hotel. Very, yeah. yeah, continue. Yeah. And, uh, well, here's just another subject here, the first music festival. Well, th there has been other music festivals, um, perhaps a bit misleading. It's uh, the first traditional music festival ah. that's uh, taken place in Yuri. Uh, so oh, folk the music. FLA, obviously, so will be the most famous Irish traditional music and culture festival in the world. And uh, the Irish name for Yuri is Yurk and Tra, means you trade the head of the strand. So th Beautiful. this festival has been called Yurk and Fla. So it's a traditional music festival, Play on uh, the words. and it's also it's been headlined by possibly the most famous band have come from Yerry, um, the Four of Us. So they're headlining at. They're the just town called hall. the Four of Us. Yeah, cute. They're headlining at the Town Hall when? Thirteenth uh, of September. Can you still get tickets? I think so. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Yeah. And uh, we've got some other people coming in here distracting me. What's this about Tesco rejecting new nomadic Irish beef? What is a nomadic Irish piece of beef? Mm. I mean, I you feel see, like a nomadic Canadian at the moment. You're, you're, putting, you're, you're putting me on the spot here. We'll, we'll have to have a slice of beef off, off of this man here. So generally, what I would do would, would have a, a list of stories to talk about. <laughs> and uh, a brief Oh, I'm them, really throwing you off. Oh, is that what? It's the Canadian in you that's yeah. doing it. That's what's It's here, actually you're... moose and yeah, caribou. <laughs> And it's bred on a farm down beside <laughs> that hotel we were talking I about. I thought we were getting a slice off of Rowan Hand by the, <laughs> by the sounds next door here. So if I'm honest with you, I haven't read so, that story, so I don't know. <laughs> okay, well, we'll have to go to a story then uh, you've read so you don't feel thrown <laughs> off by, by the Canadian. Well, I have a whole list of, of 12 of them. I could oh, go through. Well, yeah. you, she has taken up all of 11 of them. You give us one now. I'll give you, you one. Um, obviously, the front page story. Sorry for saying she. I didn't mean that. Sorry. Yeah. That's all right. I do have a name. My Licia. colleague, Licia. There you are. Uh, the front page story me. obviously relates to the promised retention of stroke services mm -hmm. at Daisy Hill. It's mm -hmm. been a, a constant rumour and, and innuendo, I guess. And for that reason, Don McMahon, who covers all of our health stories, has tracked down um, some key members of the, the health service with the promise, we will never turn anyone away at Daisy Hill. The immediate care of a Neary patient and the people in the locality will take place at Daisy Hill. If they turn around and change this, this front page will be reissued <laughs> uh, with the word liar. Li oh, yeah, you'll do uh, that. Thank you very much indeed. Cormac Campbell, Licia <laughs> Troughton. Great to meet you. Music.